Thanks for being with us. Let's bring in the aforementioned Tim Hasselbeck. He's here. So much to get to. Let's get right to it. Another postseason game that goes down to the final seconds. The Rams win it. Your initial thoughts, Tim, are what? My initial thoughts are, you know, Matthew Stafford stepping up big when he needed to. You know, it wasn't an ideal offensive performance, you know, out of the Rams tonight, especially once Odell Beckham Jr. left the game with that knee injury. But when it came down to the final drive, it was, you know, hurry up offense with Matthew Stafford, uh, you know, finding Cooper Cup, and then they get down and tight, obviously aided by some penalties. And it's Matthew Stafford once again relying on Cooper Cup. So if you just think about why he is there, he was there to kind of get them, uh, you know, kind of over the, the hump, if you will, to basically have an upgrade at the quarterback position for kind of moments like that. And I think he delivered. And, you know, he delivered because Cooper Cup came through big. But ultimately, uh, that's my takeaway as I, as I look at this Rams team winning the Super Bowl with Matthew Stafford as their quarterback. Let's break it down player by player. Let's just go deep inside. Chris Collinsworth just said on the broadcast, as long as he lives, as long as he's been calling football, Chris is 63 years old. He's watched plenty of football. He played for both Bengals Super Bowl teams. He called this game. He said, I will always remember that 15-play drive that defined this Super Bowl. When you look at the totality of it, how do you see it? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's fair, you know, to, to look at that because you're looking at the time and you're thinking, well, how much is Cincinnati going to have less? Look, I, I just, you know, I, I think that, you know, the, the totality of that, you know, what they kind of overcame. And, and I think this, too, you know, for as much as we talk about, you know, Matthew Stafford, and it's my initial reaction, how about what this means for Sean McVay? You know, it's fourth and one. They tried to run the ball on third and one. It's fourth and one. And they go with a, a jet sweep to Cooper Cup, you know, a call that, you know, certainly would have, drawn plenty of criticism if it didn't work out, uh, but ultimately it does work out and it ends up being a brilliant call considering, you know, how hard it was to run the football on Cincinnati uh, in this football game. So, you know, they really kind of made the Rams one dimensional and, uh, you know, it was it was tough for them to get anything going in the passing game without Beckham. And so uh, that was a nice adjustment by Sean McVay. And, he certainly deserves some credit for it as well. Yeah, it's not too often you can cement your career in any field, particularly in professional sports at the age of 36, but he has done it. He's still the NFL's youngest head coach. Uh, quickly here, when we move ahead, the way the Rams were built, everybody says you got to go through the draft, you got to get young, you got to win when the players are cheap. The Rams flipped the script and did it the complete opposite way. What do you make of the way that they approached this and obviously the way they finished it? Well, listen, it worked out. It, it you know, their plan, you know, was clear to everybody. You're right, Zubin, they were going all in. And I think it was because they felt like they had a championship defense um, and they wanted to kind of supplement that with the players they've added. Um, but it worked. You know, I think, it, you know, if you do it and you don't come away uh, with a Super Bowl, even if you go to multiple Super Bowls, you know, it's a failure. But by winning it, you know, it proves that, uh, you know, that Les Snead and Sean McVay, that their vision and their plan worked you know what will look like five years from now you know it'll be interesting to see but there is no question that the plan to go all in and to chase a Super Bowl with the defense that they had made the most sense and, and I completely concur because the Rams are in a position where they could only meet expectations every other team in the league could exceed them certainly the Bengals did but the Rams could simply only meet them by winning the Super Bowl the biggest play of the game was made on the defensive end the fourth down will always remember by Aaron Donald. What do you make of the idea that it was Donald that made the play that won the Rams this Super Bowl? Well, listen, I, I don't think there's any question that when you look at the way that that front for the Rams kind of stepped up really about halfway through the third quarter, that, that was a differentiator in this football game. You know, it was almost like, um, you know, there was a bit of a surprise that Cincinnati was handling the front as well as they were handling them early in the game. Uh, and Burrow was doing a good job of getting the ball out quickly. But, you know, we got into some of those known passing situations. That front started to take over. You know, we obviously saw it from Floyd. We saw it from Von Miller. But then you're right. It was, you know, in the most critical moment, you know, it was uh, Aaron Donald closing out the football game. And so, look, that's what you want your best players to do, Zubin, if you think about it. You know, it's Stafford big. 
uh, you know, on the final drive, relying on Cooper Cup, who's been their best offensive player, and then on the defensive side to close the game out, it's their best defensive player and arguably the best defensive player in football closing out the game. No question about it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.